Congratulations on purchasing a Smarter Tools Generator. This video is to assist you in unpacking and starting up the GP9750EB, the GP9500EB, the GP7500EB, and the GP4750EB models. First open the box and take out the paperwork on top and move the shipping padding to move the bag off the top of the unit that it can be pulled off the unit later. The paperwork included on top of the unit is a quick start guide, an owner's manual, an engine guide, and a product registration sheet. You can also register online at usesmartertools.com. You can find your serial number and date code on the plate on the bottom crossbar by the handle end of the unit. To continue unpacking, have an old piece of carpet or a piece of cardboard and flip the open top box onto that that the unit is upside down. Then remove the box and the plastic take out all the parts that have been shipped inside the generator. You should have two wheels, two handles, two crutches, bottle of oil with an attached funnel, two axle bolts, a bag of hardware containing two nuts and bolts for attaching the handles, two bolts for attaching the crutches on the GP4750EB, or four nuts and bolts for attaching the larger crutches. Charging cables come with all but the GP7500EB, also included is a spark plug tool with pouch and keys. With no oil or gas in the unit, you can set it on end with the wheel connectors up. Push an axle bolt through the wheel and put the washer on on the inside and install. Tighten with a wrench. After both wheels are installed, install the crutches. The larger units will have a two bolt setup per crutch. The smaller units will have a single bolt per crutch installation. After installing both sides, tighten all the nuts and bolts with a wrench. Then set the unit upright and install the handles. The bolt will go through the handle and the frame. Proceed to tighten the nuts and bolts on the handles. To connect the battery, remove the mounting nut and bolt from the battery cables. Carefully cut the zip tie holding the cables in place. While the battery is still in its cradle and strapped in, Carefully connect the red to the positive side of the battery, then connect the black wire to the negative side of the battery. Push both plastic cover protectors over the terminal connections to prevent any sparking. Now you're ready to add oil. The dipstick is next to the battery. You want to remove that and fill to the level shown in the picture. Then replace the cap, making sure it's snug that the oil will not leak. Then you're ready to add fuel. Be careful not to spill. Replace the cap and snug, then open the fuel pet cock to allow gas to the carburetor. Pull out the choke, and turn the key to the right to start the unit. Our larger models have a vacuum controlled choke that will automatically cut itself off. For the manual models, turn on the choke to start, and turn it off once the engine has warmed up. And when the unit's running normally with the choke off, you can plug in your items to add load to the unit. If you should notice any missing parts, cosmetic damage, or have trouble starting or using your generator, please contact us directly at 888-241-8498. Remember folks, don't work harder, work smarter. Smarter Tools.